Good morning, and welcome to the University of the Bahamas, where we are preparing you for a better life in a global society. The fact that you're watching me on screen and with a facial shield, instead of sitting in the Performing Arts Center on campus, surrounded by your peers, is a clear indication that this new academic year is unlike any that we have had at the University of the Bahamas. COVID-19, the virus that has impacted life around the globe, continues to challenge us to do things in new and innovative ways. Hosting our new student orientation in this way is only one of them. This semester, most of your classes will be online. You will miss the buzz of social life in the cafeteria. UB lit parties will probably be Zoom concerts. Visits to the library will be made by appointment and every visit to campus will require wearing a mask. I know that it is not what you dreamed of at the start of the year, but I promise that this semester will be history in the making. As a matter of fact, it already is. Our first year students in Grand Bahama have even greater challenges as they have to navigate even more virtual spaces due to the destruction of our UB North campus by Hurricane Dorian. However, under the distinguished leadership of Dr. Ian Strawn and his dedicated team, I am confident you will thrive and succeed as we continue to work on a rebuild plan for UB North. More than ever, our faculty is committed to connecting with you during classes and will continue to provide you the top quality education for which UB is known. UB staff is here to help However, they may assist. Communication and connection are extremely important when we must remain socially and physically distant. Call and email, book appointments, ask the questions that seem trivial and silly because there are no wrong questions. We will be relying on each other and each of you to ensure that our new systems work best for your education. At the start of every semester, I encourage our first year students to join new clubs, participate in academic events, and become involved in campus life. I want you to do the same this, this semester and this year. Seek out the clubs that are meeting on Facebook and attend as many Zoom events as you can. We have a thriving Greek community, seven athletics teams for the athletes among you, and a dean of students along with his student affairs team who is eager to ensure that you have great experiences in and out of the virtual classroom. I personally encourage you to become actively involved with the Student Government Association, led by UB senior Mackinson, Mackinson Charles. Student government is a great way to become intimately involved with UB happenings. Last semester, we broke ground for our new residence halls. In fact, we are calling it our university town, as the building will feature a five-deck parking lot, retail shops facing university commons, two, three, and four-bedroom suites, complete with a kitchenette and a gym, pool, and ballroom space for events. It is, it is an exciting time for us, and we hope to work on the construction of the building during this academic year. As we prepare for a future that is much brighter, and less socially distanced than our present. During your time with us, I want you to be engaged and involved with what's happening at UB. Check your UB mail for necessary notices and always know that faculty and administrators are here to support you. Every Thursday from 3 to 5 p.m., I usually hold open door hours to connect with students, faculty, and staff. You can simply drop in for a chat or to share an idea or a suggestion you may have. This semester, however, I hope to host the virtual equivalent and will send out communications with the new process to all UB students and all UB addresses. I hope that you enjoy your time with us and embrace the role that you are playing in this history-making semester. Again, I welcome you and I look forward to connecting with you in new and innovative ways this semester. Thank you. Welcome.
class of 2024 to the University of the Bahamas, home of the Mingos, where we are preparing students for a better life in a global society. I'm here to say a few introductory words about the heart of the intellectual experience you are about to undertake. As the nation's premier institution, UB offers more than 60 undergraduate majors in a variety of program of studies, over 20 minors, and scores of general education courses from which you will be able to create yourself an education that will open you up to a whole new world and new possibilities. As you meet with your advisors to talk about your chosen major, life aspirations, and to select the courses you will take during your academic journey, I encourage you to take every advantage of the many opportunities being afforded to you. Try new things. Choose provocative classes that expose you to new ideas and new creative ways of thinking. As you progress in your studies, take advantage of UB's study abroad program. The Office of Academic Affairs is here to serve you, and we work as a core function of the University of the Bahamas, comprising of faculty, researchers, academic administrators, and other professionals. Academic Affairs serves and works in concert with internal stakeholders, national, regional, and global partners, achieving excellence in our academic pursuits. Students. As you embark on this new journey of pursuing a university education, sometimes the road will not be easy. And there is going to be many challenges ahead of you. At times, you're going to get frustrated and you're going to need moral support. Still, always realize the rewards of success will be worth it and one day, you will celebrate your accomplishments. University life will be a constant balancing act to adjust, settle, and to navigate academic and personal life. Most studies suggest as a principle that you should study about eight to 10 hours per week per subject. This is double what is expected of students in high school and as such, a student will need to commit up to 40 hours a week for full-time study. As a member of the UB Mingo family, you must take the initiative. No one will be checking up on you to make sure that you are keeping up with your work. It is up to you to learn and manage your time and your new found freedom. Learning new skills is critical to your success. I encourage you to take advantage of the first year seminar course, which will help you to adapt to a more independent learning style, develop strong study skills, and devise strategies to keep up with your workload. Do know that the entire UB Mingo family is here to support, sustain, and encourage you. On behalf of the Office of Academic Affairs, the administrators, faculty, staff, and the student community of UB, congratulations. We are so happy for you to be joining us. Welcome to the University of the Bahamas. Thank you. Parents of the class of 2024, welcome to University of the Bahamas. Transitioning into college isn't easy, not for your student and not for you as a parent or guardian. After careful research, I've compiled some of the most important tips for all parents to successfully support their child during their transition into university. Avoid taking total control. Have those difficult conversations. Stay connected and check in. Be knowledgeable about campus resources. Expect change. 
Do not tell your student that these are the best years of their life. Trust your student. Make a financial plan and discuss expectations with your child. Discuss academic goals and expectations ahead of time. Be a coach rather than trying to solve your child's problem. Acknowledge that college today is different. Ask about courses rather than focusing on grades. Don't overschedule. In closing, parents are the biggest cheerleaders anyone can have in life. Be that, be their support system. Welcome parents. It is indeed a pleasure to have you here with us. And I can tell that you and your young adult are filled with Mingo pride. Go Mingos! As the country is now in a global pandemic, the university has put measures into place to ensure that the safety measures given from the emergency orders are abided by all members of the Mingo family. We know that family is an important asset while here at the University of the Bahamas. And like the adage goes, no man is an island, meaning we need each other to be successful. Although your young adult will be transitioning to university life, they must now learn to fend for themselves by setting goals which will help them achieve their ultimate goal, which is graduating at the University of the Bahamas. The university is equipped with various programs that will help enhance your child's leadership skills and it will also help open their minds to being diverse. You may be thinking why my child needs to be diverse. To be successful, one must not only be book smart, but also open-minded to critical thinking skills and diversified learning skills as well. As I mentioned earlier, we are in a national crisis and the university has now transitioned into hybrid learning, which means all, if not most of your young adults classes will be done virtually. The Student Government Association will be available to help your child transition from the traditional learning skills which was taught in high school to a now virtual learning. As the platform for the Student Government Association in the academic year 2020-2021 is reshaping the student experience facing the new norm. My government along with all its members are specifically equipped with the knowledge needed for the intended major of your young adult. Therefore, parents, your young adults are in good hands. Hello, I'm Kathleen Johnson, Director of Health Services at the University of Bahamas. I'm here to share with you the Student Health Services purpose and connection to higher education. The health team is a highly dynamic group of professionals presently consisting of two nursing practitioners, counseling psychologists, administrative assistant with EMT train, and two volunteer physicians who serve us half day each, one half day weekly from the Ministry of Health and Public Hospital Authority. As a team, we go beyond reactive, pro programmatic approaches to health and have established foundational, proactive well-being initiatives for the campus community. Students must receive appropriate and reactive care when needed. By focusing overall, that is with the whole person, the whole education experience, the whole institution, and the whole community, well-being has become a multifaceted goal and shared responsibility for the entire campus. All services rendered are guided by the National Health Standards Ministry of Health. So the services that we offer at Health Services are family planning, immunization, primary health care, counseling, and also diet and nutrition programs. The student medical form can now be uploaded to healthservices at ub.edu.bs along with a copy of their immunization card. And also, if they have pri private insurance, they can submit their insurance card along with a letter from the insurance company stating that they have coverage. We are implementing the wearing of face masks, the use of hand sanitizers, hand washing, along with social distancing and physical distancing. Telehealth and telemedicine is one of the new services now being offered, whereas you can call into health services by dialing 302-4556. You'll be connected with a nurse. 
That nurse will then do an assessment over the telephone, and if need be, a doctor will be called in to do further assessment and management. To the office of the Ombudsman at the University of the Bahamas. Why do we need the office of the Ombudsman? There's always conflicts and unresolved matters in any organization. At the University of the Bahamas, the Office of the Ombudsman seeks to resolve conflicts and any disputes in a very timely manner. These conflicts are resolved under the four tenets of its statute. It is confidentiality, impartiality, neutrality, and informality. The Office of the Ombudsman is to provide an informal dispute resolution process in which the Ombudsman advocates for fairness, justice, respect for differences, and reasonable solutions to all its stakeholders. The Ombudsman Office serves as an alternate mechanism for system changes on campus. It facilitates all its stakeholders. If you have any concerns, do send us an email and you will be answered promptly. The Office of Financial Aid and Scholarship welcomes you to the University of the Bahamas, home of the Mingos. Hello, I'm Cheryl Carey, Director of Financial Aid and Scholarship. The Financial Aid and Scholarship Office has the awesome responsibility of administrating the Bahamas Government Tertiary Grant Program. This program includes the following, the Tertiary Grant, the Accommodation Grant for Family Island students, the teacher's education stipend, as well as the nursing stipend. The tertiary grant covers all of the tuition fees, technology fees, student activity fees, library fees, course laboratory fees. The grant also pays for the mandatory course external examination fee. You qualify by being a Bahamian citizen, you must be enrolled as a full-time student, a minimum GPA of two point or greater. If you are a teacher education major, you must also have the approval of the Ministry of Education as well as the School of Nursing and the Ministry of Health. Once the University of the Bahamas has its residential hall, the first two years you are committed to stay in the residential hall and then move off campus. Thank you for choosing the University of the Bahamas, home of the Mingos. Chapter One Bookstore is your back to school headquarters. We are proud to serve the students, faculty, and staff of the University of the Bahamas and the community at large. We are the premier choice for the purchase of university textbooks and supplies and UB logo apparel, paraphernalia, and gifts. We also carry a wide variety of school supplies, learning aids, and leisure books. Visit our coffee center throughout the semester for all of your printing, copying, and binding needs. Chapter One Bookstore is located on the ground floor of the Michael Eldon Complex. 
shop with us on Monday through Friday between the hours of 8.30 a.m. and 1 p.m. Call us at 397-2650 or email us at chapter1 at ub.edu.bs. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Chapter One Bookstore. See you soon. Hi, my name is Denise Roll Bastian, and I would like to take this opportunity to welcome the class of 2024. Here at the business office, our core responsibilities are collecting student outstanding balances as well as administering private scholarship disbursements. We also can assist with any billing queries you may have. We have two payment options for tuition. You can either pay in full or you can go on a deferred payment plan. The available outlets of payment for tuition are as follows. You can pay online via the UB website, our banner payment portal. You would have to have a valid visa, master, debit, or credit card. Or you can either make deposits via our RBC account, or you can do an online wire transfer or you can go inside the bank and do a direct deposit onto our, onto our account. The available options for payment for non-instructional fees that include transcripts, status requests, cost withdrawal, cost outlines, etc. Okay, there are a few requirements for enrolling in our deferred payment plan. One, you would have to have paid all prior outstanding balances in full. You have to be registered for the semester to be covered by the time period of the plan. You have to be a Bahamian citizen and or a resident. You also have to have a $300 minimum balance we require you to pay one third down. You would have to uh, provide for us either a Visa card, a MasterCard, or a debit card for payment, for processing of payments, the initial down payment and deferred installment payments. After the initial payment, you will have two more installments to be paid in one month intervals. The same card you use to make the initial payment will be the same card used throughout the plan. Please ensure that there are funds on the card for all installment due dates to avoid incurring a $50 late fee. The cost to enroll in the plan is $50. That will be a part of your bill. The enrollment processes are as follows. You'd have to log in to our banner self-service online with your UB issued username and password. In the home bar, you would click online payment. Onto the next screen, you would click on payment plans. Click on enroll payment plan and follow the prompts thereafter. If there is a daily limit on your card and your payment surpasses that amount, your payment will not go through. In that case, you would have to contact your bank to resolve this issue. Okay, in terms of scholarships, right now we have either private scholarships that you can go on or the most popular, the government tertiary grant. The government tertiary grant is dispersed via financial aid and we advise you to ensure that you receive your tertiary grant award amount before settling any outstanding balances which can be paid via the options discussed before. And then there's private scholarships. Private scholarships are dispersed via our department. Um, if you would like to have your private scholarship dispersed onto your account, you would have to send an email to accountsreceivable at ub.edu.bs to have your scholarship amount applied. Students may also need to send us a copy of your scholarship letters if, if necessary. A few tips, I would like for you to pay close attention to your UB email and your UB calendar to ensure that you meet all payment deadlines 
so we would not have to incur any additional fees, such as the late payment fee, which would be an additional $150 added to your bill. If you are doing direct deposits or wire transfers, please ensure that you include the student name in the description for ease of reference. If you are on the deferred payment plan, remember that the same card that you use for your first installment will be the same card used throughout the plan. You will also have an option to change the card if necessary. Again, if you need to reach our department for anything else, you can send an email to accountsreceivable at uv.edu.us. Thank you. The Registrar's Office welcomes you to the University of the Bahamas. My name is Claire Charlo Patton, Registrar. As a student, you must be cognizant of all aspects of the registration process. Make the academic calendar your best friend. This will assist you in keeping track of important dates such as advisement, registration, ad drop, late registration, as well as course extension and direct independent study registration every semester. Let's start with the registration process. This semester, advisement and registration will commence online for new students August 10th through the 23rd, 2020. Once you have been advised, you can begin registering in Banner Self Service to reserve your courses. You sign into the Banner Self Service, insert your username and password, enter and begin to search for your courses. During the course of registering, you may encounter errors, which may impede the pro registration process. It is therefore important to know where you can get assistance to, to resolve these issues. Number one, time ticket errors. Should you encounter this error, please contact registrar's office at ub.edu for assistance. Number two, prerequisite or co-requisite errors. These issues are managed by the respective academic deans whose contact information are located on the university's website at www.ub.edu.bs. Number three, should you encounter issues logging into the registration portal, please contact IT Help Desk at ub.edu.bs. Now let's focus on late registration. Late registration is scheduled for August 25th through the 26th, 2020 and occurs every semester once classes have begun. This allows students who did not take advantage of the early registration period to enroll in courses. However, there is a financial penalty attached. Please contact accounts receivable at ub.edu.bs regarding all issues related to finance. Our next period to focus on is our drop. Our drop is scheduled for August 27, 2020. During this period, a student may add or drop a course to their existing schedule. If a student has already paid for a course prior to this period, they will be assessed a fee for the process. Like late registration, this too occurs online. However, students must complete an ad drop form, which is available on UB's website and submit the form to the business office. Our next period of registration is course extensions and direct independent study, or DIS. This is scheduled for August 31st through September 1st, 2020. Both are manual processes. If a student wishes to enroll in a course that is closed, the student must request permission to enroll in a course from the course lecturer. Once permission is granted, a course extension form must be submitted to the registrar's office before the calendar extension period ends. Ensure that the requisite signatures, which includes course faculty and academic unit chairperson, are included. The same is required for a DIS form, which must have approval from the aforementioned signatories as well as the academic dean. This form is also available on the UB website. The last day to withdraw without academic penalty. 
students have until October 31st, 2020 to withdraw from a course and receive a W grade for the course. An ad drop withdrawal form must be completed and forwarded to the business office for processing. Parents, to access your young adult's records or to conduct any business on their behalf, a third-party consent form must be completed and submitted to the registrar's office via email. Like all the other forms, this form is too available on the website. Congratulations and welcome to the University of the Bahamas. Hello, my name is Nakara Pratt. I am the Director of Housing and Residence Life here at the Trailblazing University of the Bahamas. I would like to be one of the first to welcome you to the UB family. During these unprecedented times with COVID-19 on the forefront of everyone's minds, let's pause for a moment and recognize the amazing accomplishment of the class of 2024 as they start their journey here at the University of the Bahamas. As a result of COVID-19, our residential facilities here at the University of the Bahamas will only be occupied at 25%, so we can adhere to social distancing protocols. But if you're a Family Island student, don't worry, we have the accommodations grant to ensure that you have housing if you have to relocate to New Providence. The following criteria will qualify you for the accommodations grant. First, you must be a Bahamian citizen. Secondly, you must have graduated from a Family Island high school. Thirdly, you must be under the age of 25 at the time of application for the accommodations prep. Fourthly, you must be enrolled in a full-time undergraduate program. And lastly, you must maintain a 2.0 GPA to maintain your accommodations grant. If you have any more questions or comments, please contact the Housing and Residential Life Department at housing at ub.edu.bs or call us at 422-6429. Again, welcome to the University of the Bahamas and go Mingos.